Hello, Azumi here, and let's do some Medjed, however you say that. Strikes 8 star. First, I got Scald in the lead is my tank, simply because she has really high light resistance. Then next, I got Brunhild with um, a lot of dark AoE gear besides the Forbidden Blade. And Sandgrid because she is awesome. And I'll use her every chance I can. Uh, Nabby. And I only use her in this fight and pretty much for nothing else. And she has a really cool costume though. And Anubis. And pretty much the same thing with her too. I only use her in this fight and really nothing else. So let's go on here and see what happens. Okay, so Smiter Medjeed. I'm not going to comment on what she looks like because it's not appropriate. But anyway, she is considered Aesir and is airborne. The targeted races in this fight are going to be humans, elves, Therian, and Yotun. They will get inflicted with shade. This can be negated some by using Garm's Candy Bucket. Um, additionally, all heroes in the connect get hit with poison and barrier seal. So any of your skills that have a barrier of some kind or gear that has a barrier, that's probably not going to work. On 8 star, there is a mist field on the 2nd and 3rd HP bars. There is also a holy field on 7 star and a high holy field on 8 star. Most effective element in this fight is going to be dark. Majid is also really weak to water, but I stick with dark to get rid of the crystals faster. Um, all the crystals are on the range row, so heavy AoE dark damage is a must since the crystals heal. Um, the closer set of crystals to Majid generates the holy fields, as well as heal two of its allies with the lowest HP, and that includes Majid. Um, the outer set inflicts shade and does the same thing. It heals two of its allies for the lowest HP. So um, it's really hard to get rid of Medjid without getting rid of the crystals. You still can do it, but you have to do a lot of damage really fast. So some other heroes you can use that I'm, that I'm not using would be um, Meliodas, Thor... Hoogan, um, Hellblindy works, uh, pretty much I, uh, any like Aesir that's dark is pretty good for this fight. Nabby was essentially made for it, but she's a dwarf so she doesn't really synergize with my sand grid and her um, stats up by 15% to all Aesirs. But I figured I would use her because I don't use her for anything else. Also, you can tell when I stop reading because I sound different. <laughs> and it's almost over here. Like I said, I love Nabby's costume with the big fork and the uh, strawberry stuck in it. And the chocolate and the sprinkles on her head is pretty funny. So, here it goes with the amount of damage I did pretty high six over six million so there we go have a good day